Hey, how's it going? I'm hyped as fuck for the Nintendo Switch. I could sit here and talk all day about the damn thing. The aspect of taking modern games on the go with you is something unheard of and, well, just really exciting. <laughs> Oh. Uh, oh shit. Uh, I'm sorry, Wii U. I meant to make this video about you, but, well, you kind of suck. Why don't you love me? Why don't you love me like you love the Switch? <laughs> so the Switch event is this Thursday, and the Wii U is basically dead. I've owned a Wii U since its second month of life, and while it's had an incredibly rocky lifespan, I really do love my Wii U. I figured that today, we'd take a little stroll down memory lane and remember some of the things that made it special. Mostly the games. It didn't really have much else. So the Wii U released on November 18th, 2012, and kicked off with a fairly decent launch lineup. Games like Arkham City, Assassin's Creed 3, Mass Effect 3, and Darksiders 2 helped shape out the launch, and all seemed good at first. As you know, third-party support quickly dwindled for the system, and we were left with a game drought. Game droughts were very common throughout the Wii U's lifespan. The third-party support just wasn't there, and Nintendo alone couldn't pump out games quick enough to fill in the gaps. Despite the poor sales, and support, I really have to commend Nintendo for their support of their dying console, because some of the titles released for Wii U are some of the best games Nintendo has ever made. The first game that comes to mind is Super Smash Bros. Sorry Melee fanboys, this is the Supreme Smash Bros. game. Tons of new, awesome characters, stages, items, and so on make it one of my favorite games of all time. I spent countless hours smashing it up. Mario Kart 8 is another example of outdoing its predecessors. The controls are so tight. The graphics are so incredible that I consider it to be one of the best looking games for Wii U, and the imagination that went into creating not only a huge selection of tracks, but completely reimagining old tracks as well, made this the definitive Mario Kart experience. For now, uh, until the Switch version. Uh, sorry, Mario Kart. The Wii U also introduced Nintendo's first new IP since Pikmin, that being Splatoon. Such a fun, colorful, creative spin on third-person shooters. It went on to become one of the more successful games on the console, and will likely receive sequels down the road. I'm sure the mention of this next game won't surprise a lot of you, but I definitely felt the need to talk a little bit about it before we move on. Yes, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. I really recommend you give this game a shot if you haven't already. I'm a huge fan of Donkey Kong, but I speak from a totally unbiased perspective when I say that this is simply one of the best, if not the best, platformer I have ever played. The music, the level designs, the challenges, the visuals, everything is just... Mmm! Perfect. I won't harp too long on this. If you want my full thoughts on the game, you can check out my review of The Tropical Dong. Obviously, there's a good bit of games outside the few I mentioned that really helped shape the Wii U and make it sort of feel worth the money that you shelled out for the thing. Let's talk a little bit about the gamepad. Nintendo tried to make this the selling point for the Wii U. Off TV play is a pretty convenient feature, no doubt about it, and although developers, Nintendo included, didn't utilize gameplay features with the gamepad to any large extent, there is some novelty to being able to simply play games on the gamepad. You know, that thing that Switch is doing way better. <laughs> Anyway, I started off this video with good intentions. I wanted to sort of celebrate the Wii U before it becomes totally obsolete on Thursday, but you know, I realized that aside from the games, there wasn't much nice to say about it. And I really don't know what else to say. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it. At the very least, the Wii U was a decent console. It had quality games, they were just scattered throughout the four years of its life, which made it more of a paperweight than anything for the duration. God, I can't stop down-talking it. I'm just so ready to move on. Rest in peace, Wii U. You weren't bad, but you weren't amazing. And that about does it for me. What was your favorite game for Wii U? Let me know in the comments below. Next time we meet, we'll be talking about Switch, because you can bet your ass I'll be covering the event. But until then, this is your old pal Uncle Al, signing out.